few minutes with the boss, the owner, Mark Adonacio, and uh, here we are at another on-deck event, and I would imagine this is a very different on-deck event for you. You've got a, a regime change under you with new general manager, David Stearns. How are things going so far? One of the things we're looking to achieve here is, is a partnership between on-field management and uh, baseball ops management in the uh, GM office. You know, similar to what we probably saw over the summer when we did a bunch of the trades where you had an interdisciplinary effort across um, our entire op staff, but now led by David and Matt rather than by uh, Doug and Gordon. You're the perfect symbol of the fan because you are so competitive <laughs> yeah. and you, and you want to win. <laughs> so when David Stearns and Matt Arnold uh, and Craig Council to some extent give us the information, look, we're a better organization today. Our minor league system is better. And we hear all that and that's cool. That's good to hear. But at the same time, I think you, like the fans, want to know well, how, how many wins is this going to translate to and what kind of team can we expect this year, Mark? I understand we're rebuilding, um, but this fan base deserves a, us to put out the best team we can every year. Um, we lose a game 5-3, to three, we lose a game 5-3. to three. I don't want to lose a lot of games 10-3. to three. And, uh, and that's a challenge for David because he knows I feel that way. And, and uh, you know, when, when the trades are all done, everybody's uh, locked arms and we move forward as a team. What I like is, is that while they're being deliberated, especially between me and David and Matt, uh, there's a lot of healthy discourse. And, uh, and I like, by the way, I like that David stands up to me on stuff because I'm, you know, I'm passionate. <laughs> and and, uh, and he's, he's uh, respectful but firm. Payroll's down significantly from where it has been since you took over the ball club. You continuously raise payroll, even to the 100, 100 plus million dollar range. So how do fans, how should fans think about the payroll situation right now? You know, you have to look at uh, when you're, and again, this is the first time in 11 years <clears throat> I've had to rebuild, so it's it, this part is new for me. But I want to try to look at the dollars more in the aggregate to when we compete again rather than season to season because I don't want and I've been uh, really emphatic with David and, and with Matt not we don't have to do things based on the calendar or the season so we want to get a winning team together those opportunities come at, at different times you know and likewise if you see what the Royals did this year they started and, and last year they started piling on payroll when they were competing and we want to have the ability to do that as well. So we, we don't have a, we know where our break even is, but we don't have a, a budget per se. You mentioned Ryan Braun, his place in the organization as we sit here ready for the 2016 season. Ryan is, uh, you know, he was our one, well I guess Frankie last year too, one of our two all-stars last year. Uh, you know, I think Ryan and Jonathan are, you know, the you know, leaders on the team. Uh, I know there's been a lot of chatter about Jonathan, but you know, I think we're expecting him to be on the club this year. And uh, you know, Ryan is one of those guys who um, leads by example, including by the fact that he's, he's here today. Um, and so, uh, you know, we're looking forward to another all-star season from Ryan.